All right, guys, thanks for checking out today's video. We're diving in today talking about how I believe Camping World may be some of the biggest scam artists out there and how they're going to do anything in their power to take your money from you and leave you with a bad deal. So please stay tuned for this video. This is something that a lot of people need to educate themselves on because I've had a lot of buddies that have done this. I almost got scammed and I know people, probably thousands of people every single day that get scammed by Camping World. So stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna tell you what not to do at Camping World. All right guys, so at Camping World, you went through, you purchased, or you're in the works of purchasing your first RV or camper, travel trailer, RV, whatever it is, through Camping World. And the salesman, you got shook on a price or whatever, but we're gonna talk about what happens after you shake on that price. The salesman's handed everything off to the finance department, and now what happens? Well, that finance guy is also a salesman, whether you think he is or not, he is. He actually makes more money for that company than the salesman that sold you this rig. I'm gonna tell you why they scam you. So Camping World's in the business of making money. They scam people out of millions of dollars every single month, probably. Not a year, a month. So when, when you sit down to sign those documents at Camping World, I strongly suggest you read through these things. So when I was reading through mine, they had all the protection plans, paint protection, interior protection, uh, service contracts, you name it. Right, and all of this on a twenty-five thousand dollar rig costed almost seven grand. It was like six or seven grand, something like that, which is outrageous. You're spending twenty-five thousand on a rig. Why would I spend six thousand dollars on protection plans? That's just kind of outrageous. All right, I get it. It's a budget-friendly rig. I'm not gonna spend six six to seven thousand dollars to protect it. I'm just not. Okay, maybe if it was a sixty to seventy thousand dollar rig or up maybe, but they scam me even more when they're at that price because they tack on way more costs to protect those. So you don't need this kind of stuff. Paint protection, so I'm gonna tell you my story right here. So I went and I sat down, they're, they put the papers in front of me and I'm reading through and I'm like, $6,000, What what is this? I said, I shook on this amount here, $25,000, why would I pay 30 some thousand dollars and he was like oh well your bank is making it mandatory that you have paint protection interior protection this service contract through good sam and i said i don't believe that's right hold on one second i stepped outside the office all right this guy thought i was young i was dumb and he was going to take advantage of me just like he does everybody else okay so old mikey boy here you know, he's getting nervous, right? Cause I was calling him out on his stuff. So I went outside, I talked to my, my salesman and we had kind of established a good bond here. I mean, he was primary military, I'm military and we, we had a pretty good little bond going on. So that's one good thing about going in person is you can kind of bond with your salesman. I, I get it, he's trying to make money too, but sometimes you can establish a somewhat of a friendship, right? And plus he was trying to quit camping world anyway. So. He was just trying to get us in something. So I, I, I went outside and I asked him, I said, hey, is this right? I said, I'm, they're trying to charge me about seven, six to seven grand more than the price that me and you just shook on. I said that the finance guy had said that the bank was making it mandatory that I purchase all those add-ons and I didn't think it was right. And he's like, no. He's like, typically they only, they only make you have the insurance, which before you can pull this rig off the lot, you have to have regular insurance anyway, right? Anything that you purchase, you have to have insurance on. And, uh, you know, he told me, he said, ask for the name of the bank that you're gonna finance through and call them up in front of him. I said, oh, wow, okay, cool. So I went back in and I said, hey, Mike, because uh, I was a little fishy anyway, I knew he's a con artist at that point. I said, hey, what's the name of the bank and what's the contact number? I want to call them right now. So I called them up and luckily they picked up. I said, hey, I'm trying to purchase an RV right now. And I said that the dealership is saying that it's mandatory that I purchase all these add-on protection plans, interior paint protection and a service contract through Good Sam. I said, is that right? Are you guys actually making that mandatory? 
And she said, no, sir. All we're making mandatory is that you have regular insurance. And I said, oh, wow, okay. I said, thank you, have a nice day. And I hung up the phone. And then uh, I looked at old Mike and I said, hey, are you trying to scam me right now out of $6,000? I said, you take a look at that contract. I said, I want everything zeroed out and I'm not paying a dime more than what me and the salesman agreed upon. He couldn't even look at me. He walked out of the door. He was so embarrassed that he got caught in the middle of a scam that he couldn't even, he couldn't even breathe. He walked out the door. I didn't even see old Mike again because he was so embarrassed. So I was a little confused at that point. So I got the lady that was uh, the next door over and I guess she was like their administrative person. I said, hey, old Mike just walked out. I caught him in the middle of scamming me over about six to $7,000. I said, hey, can we finish out the finance piece of this? And she said, sir, I'm sorry that this happened. And at that point I knew that, you know, so they, they either get this somewhat often or they never get this at all. And they knew they had been caught in the act. So she said, yes, sir, I'll find another finance person that can help you out because Mike, I guess is happening. <laughs> I don't even know what happened to Mike. He, he was probably back here gasping for air. But anyway, we uh, got everything zeroed out and I only paid and financed what I'd shook on with the salesman. So don't get scammed over guys. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here is you're paying a lot of money to begin with. Don't let Camping World or another dealership screw you over with that kind of stuff. Know what you're going in there shopping for. You don't need those add-ons. Paint protection, you know what they tried to tell me? Because how Camping World does it is you shake on the price, right? And then the finances the next day, typically they wanna get your rig together. They wanna you know, wash it down, which is a crock of bullshit anyway, they don't do it. Um, so they get your rig together and then the next day you show up or whenever you're scheduled to show up and do the finance piece is when you do it. So they taught, they tried telling me, Hey, we had already applied the paint protection to your rig. So you can't get that money back. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about unless you applied that paint protection from the time that I purchased it yesterday till today. And I said, it doesn't even look clean. It didn't happen. I don't even know what you're talking about paint protection. That's when you go through and redo the paint or put new paneling on and stuff like that. I said, I don't even know what you're talking about. I want it all back. So that's when they zeroed everything out. So I'm telling you, they will screw you over every chance they can. Don't let it happen to you because they'll take advantage of it. They are just con artists. They make millions of every single month off of people being stupid. I've talked to my buddies at work and some of them are, you know, 50s 60 years old and they didn't even know i was like hey did you pay for all these add-on protection plans and stuff and they're like yeah they told me it was uh you know it was part of the deal it was uh, mandatory and i said you got scammed over i said camping world just made a lot of money and they screwed you on that deal and they're like oh i had no idea and i'm like i know you didn't have no idea <laughs> that's you're the same, you were in the same boat that everybody else is that goes into Camping World thinking they're getting a good deal. So guys, please heed the, heed the warning, go into Camping World. If you're gonna go through them, I strongly suggest don't go through them. Any dealership, anything you're purchasing, whether that's a car, motorcycle, boat, whatever, kind of the same similar rules apply. Don't go get screwed over by those add-on protection plans because you don't need them. You're already purchasing insurance. Unless it's something you think really has the potential to need those add-ons, don't get it, okay? It's kind of like gap insurance. I don't even buy gap insurance because typically with gap insurance, you get screwed over too. So don't make those mistakes. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put those in the comment box below. I know talking about Camping World and how bad they suck really gets everybody riled up in the comments section. So please hit those up. Put your experiences in the comment box below because these guys are that bad. Get the word out there on what not to do at Camping World and just avoid those guys at all costs. They're just that bad. All right guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. We'll catch you in future videos.